We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Our God is good. He is gracious. He loves us, and He is fighting for us. Every moment that we live and walk this life, God is with us, and God is fighting for us. My dear friend, I tell you, in this lifetime, we will face many people who will treat us badly, who will do mean and nasty things to us. But the key is not what they do to us, but the way we respond. The key is to respond in the right way. By responding in the right way, you will protect yourself from getting your heart into a place where it is not pure. Which is why today I want to speak to you and the title of my message is Let God Fight For You. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, we'll be taking our reading today from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 38 to verse 42. It says, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. Now, my dear friend, let us break this down bit by bit and let us go through it because there is such a powerful lesson over here and if we apply this in our lives, we can be in a place where God is the one who fights for us. The Bible says, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Now, at this point, it's speaking about revenge. It's speaking about repayment for something wrong that someone has done to you. But Jesus goes on and he says, But I tell you not to resist an evil person. So as they are doing evil to you for no reason, don't resist them. Let them do it, as they are attacking you for no reason. Even though you know that they are attacking you, give it to God. Don't resist that evil person. It goes on and says, But whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn the other to him also. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. So, what Jesus is saying is the key to allowing God on the scene to fight for you. It goes on and says, And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Now it talks about the person who asks you for something. And as born-again believers, we should be people of love, people who are known by love. We should be people who help other people. We should always care for those around us and be a shining light for the Lord. It says, Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. The key is in all these situations, don't get your heart or your spirit into a place where it is not pure. Maintain that purity by following the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ. By following the recommendation of Jesus and responding in this way, you will keep your heart and your spirit pure. Revenge can bring you into a state where your heart is not pure. Let God fight for you. And this way, you will allow God to deal with the matter. If you have ever wondered, 
How can I give a situation to God? When people are attacking me for nothing and they are doing all sorts of evil against me. This is the way. It is found in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 38 to verse 42. Give it to God. Let Him fight for you. Let Him deal with the situation for you. Let Him make a way for you. Let Him open up the way for you. Let Him make a way. Let Him get justice for you. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. Don't get your heart to your spirit into a mess by seeking after revenge. Don't get your heart to your spirit into a mess by thinking and pondering so much about what people are doing to you and how people are treating you. Don't get your heart into a mess by speaking badly about those who are doing all sorts of things against you. But simply give it to the Lord and maintain your peace. Maintain your integrity. Maintain your relationship and your trust in God. God is very real and God is able to make a way for you. God is able to deliver you. God is able to see you through. Let God fight for you. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Wherever you are, take your cell phone and your device and just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will bless you, God will touch you, and God will take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for another day that you've given us, a wonderful day to live to the fullest. Another day that we can press on and we can press in. Another day that we can enjoy with you. Thank you, Father, for your grace that is sufficient, for your power is made perfect in weakness. And we know that there is nowhere that we can go that is too far for the reach of your love. We know that justice belongs to you. We know that you hold the whole universe in the palm of your hands. And even these small situations that we face on a daily basis, you are able to deal with them. And we trust you and we trust your judgment in dealing with them. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now, my dear friend, I'm going to begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. As we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even as my dear friend is tuned in today, Wherever my dear friend is facing a situation where people are fighting against them for nothing. Where people are saying negative, false things against them for nothing. Where people are turning all their friends against them for nothing. Fight for my dear friend. Where people are trying to manipulate my dear friend and do all sorts of evil against my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter. I pray fight for my dear friend and make a way. Bring peace in my dear friend's heart and make a way. Fight for my dear friend and bring peace. Bring peace in my dear friend's heart and help my dear friend not to get their heart in a mess. Not to get their heart or their spirit into a place where it is impure. But help my dear friend to stay pure. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, God is with you. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. Believe and trust in him and he shall make a way for you. In saying that, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.